Hello everybody, welcome. In this video, we are going to talk about a new and coolest feature of Oracle integration, which is RPA. Yes, you have heard right, RPA. RPA is now part of Oracle integration three. What it is, how do, you, how do we use it? Everything we are going to cover in the series of videos. Let's begin and understand what that RPA is in Oracle integration. Why do we use it and why we use this RPA in Oracle integration? So let's begin. RPA is now natively available in Oracle integration. No extra licensing, no extra software needed to use RPA in Oracle Integration Cloud. This is natively, yes, you have heard right, natively, it is available natively in Oracle Integration. So as you know, RPA, Robotic Process Automation, customers are using it as a separate practice. But now, the Oracle Integration customers can use RPA within OIC what RPA is. RPA is basically a software which automates some task which you do on a daily basis, repetitive task that you do by going to a one website, going to one navigation to another and perform certain tasks such as you are doing data entry, you are doing some transaction processing, you are taking data, you are removing hold from the invoices so and so forth these tasks which you are doing repetitive now those can be performed by a robot you simply record your actions from the ui and then run robots whenever you need to reduce your manual repetitive task yes automating such task which not only frees valuable resources like you have been hired on a highly highly salary and you are doing some repetitive task which is not which is not adding any value in your job so you build a solution which can take this repetitive task for you and you focus on some some kind of use case some kind of software which actually is useful for your business so yes rp can do those tasks so rp works by using simple tools to train robots you have to train your robots hey this is the task that i am doing i am training i am giving you the training like these are the things that i am doing and now you have to perform from today onwards so you will give the training to the RP and it is not like a complex training. It's very simple training like you, you scroll to the website, you navigate to the website. These are the only, only things that you have to train to your robots. So uh, Oracle integration is a complete business automation platform. As you know, Oracle is a leading integration Pass service, the comprehensive platform. Yes, it's, it is a single platform which using lot of features inside a single tool called Oracle integration. So that makes Oracle integration unique and keep them separate from other vendors. So as you know, it has a lot of automation capabilities like you are doing integrations using application integration where you connect two application via apis you have the apis available and you are trying to connect to those application via apis you use process automation for your business workflows you use visual builder a low code development platform to build your enterprise grade responsive web application quickly using visual builder you use b2b to transform your business to business automations you use decision service to automate the enforcement of business policies and rules and now rpa is adding 
in this Oracle integration to automate your task that you are doing manually without knowing the technical knowledge. A senior citizen can also use RPA to record the steps that they are doing. That's it. So RPA robots are built and managed within the solution focused project in the same context and under the same governance as other automation technologies. So it is part of the same tool that you use today. It's not different. Like you, you build integration, the same way you will build RPA robots and you can code robots from integration. You can run it independently, but you can call those robots from integration as well. And there is no need to install anything on your software. It is completely browser based. A intuitive web based screen recorder tool available. So there's a tool available that you will use to record the steps that you do. You simply tell robots, hey, these are the steps I am recording. And when I will run you, you simply need to perform those tasks. Now, when to use integration, when to use RPA, as I told, RPA is also for the automation. Integration is also for the automation. But when do you use RPA? When do you use integration? So RPA is basically to automate your UI based task. The task that you perform by going into the screens and perform. For example, you would like to get the status of your PO. What you do as a business, as a business user or the end user, you simply log in into ERP application, go to multiple navigation, enter your number, and then you will get the status. And then you may need to enter this status somewhere into a different application. So you are using UI to get the status and that you are doing on a daily basis. Like you're calling to a call center and saying, hey, this is my order number. Can you please track the status? So what they do, they simply navigate to their ERP application, enter your order number and will get the status. So instead of doing all those repetitive tasks, they can simply run the robots where you will punch in your order number and then you will get the status. So you don't need any human for that. However, integration is for API based automation. You may have the APIs of an application, maybe the source and target application. And if you have APIs available of the application, then only you will use integration. So RPA, RPA you generally use when you don't have APIs of that application or APIs are not available for some time, but you still need to do automation. So using RPA, you can do all the UI based automations. Integrations will be used for the API based interactions. So that is the major difference of using RPA and integration. The pulp, but the purpose is single automation, automation, automation. RPA is doing automation. Integration is doing automation. RPA will do the UI based automation. Integration will do the API based automation. So what is the advantage of using RPA inside Oracle integration? No extra licensing. So you will use RPA in the existing Oracle integration. So you don't need to get the extra licensing, licensing the same message pack that you use the RPA will consume the messages from your message pack. No extra developers needed. So the same developer who built the integration, the same guy, the same guy can build the RPA because the like you drag and drop the actions, you drag and drop the actions in RPA as well. It, it develops in the similar fashion as you develop integration. No extra software needed. You don't need any extra software. Like you are using integration from the browser, you are building integrations from the browser, the same ways you will build your robots from the browser. 
completely browser based no software needed unified observability after your rpa runs of course you need to observe like you observe your integrations so observability is available inside the same observability as you get into the integration observability so again no extra observability needed for your rpa so that's all about rpa in oracle integration so what you have learned you have learned what is rpa why do you use rpa inside oracle integration what is the difference of rpa and integration and what are the advantages that's all about this and i hope you find this video video useful thank you bye bye